Hello everyone, come on in. Not yet, let's see if we have people. Sorry, I'm a little late here. Full minute late. Great, and I have this, let me lower this a little bit here if I can. Sorry, I know, okay, great, great. Come on in, all right, maybe that's good, huh? Okay, excellent. Um, all right, all right, I'm back home here in my chapel now, and um, I'll give you an update on uh, how things went in Colorado and everything. Um, look at that. All right, Kaylee Murphy and Memphis. The whole family's here tonight watching. And Roberta, nice to see you. This is really great. It's nice to gather people from Texas and, and Pensacola, Tallahassee, Ireland perhaps, Boston, all over the place. Phoenix, I'm sure you'll check in here. Let me know where you're from. That's great. Okay. Uh, and I am here at home, and I am not alone. I have a guest, which is really cool. I'm not just talking about Mary here, the image of um, the Theotokos, Mary, which is really appropriate because today we celebrate the Memorial of St. Mary Major, which is actually, so the memorial of the building of a basilica dedicated to Mary um, from the 5th century, right after, you know, it was really laid down that Mary is truly the mother of God, the Theotokos. Uh, they, the, the Pope wanted to honor her with this huge basilica. So, there we go. Um, and now, so I have another visitor though. It's not Mary, it's... Hello. That's my brother, Neil. Oh. Neil? I have a much bigger head than you. Well, I think it's because I'm back here. Oh, all it's right. like a fish thing, if you, you know, you're... Whoa, all right. There, there we go, <laughs> that's probably better. Okay, so my brother Neil, Father Neil, is visiting. Um, yeah, so a uh, bit of a retreat for me. I finished with my job as a system provincial and I will be starting, uh, actually I've already started at Stonehill College just outside of Boston. What will you be doing there? Thanks for asking. I will be the religious superior there. There's 20 Holy Cross priests and brothers. I will make sure that they are holy, healthy, and happy in what they do there. And then next door there's a parish. I'll be the administrator there. Great. Thank All right. You. Thank you. How were your flights today? Well, thanks. They were really good. Okay. Um, Good. Arrived early. Delta did a fine job. I don't think we we're supposed to like announce. Oh, I'm sorry. So a, a major airline did a nice job. Okay. Good. Oh, there's Mary saying hello. That's our well, happy feast day there to our sister Mary. Mary had a feast day, my lord. Mary had a feast day, my lord. <laughs> sorry. <Yes. laughs> Sorry, this that's the song Mary Had a Baby. Do you know about that? It's a Christmas song. Lovely. But yeah, Notre Dame Glee Club does a fine job with that. Much better than we just did. That's true. Okay, great. I'm going to leave you. All right. God um, bless you all. It's great to see you. Neil, uh, Neil's going to make dinner, I think, for us, maybe. I think so. Neil, there's pork chops there. Can you just... Is it Uber Eats, or how do we do this? You just hook it up, or just turn on the thing, and it'll be great. Pork chops, and I have salad, too. Frosted many weeks. There's that too. All right, I'll be down. All right. All right. Great. So hello everyone. Uh, that's my brother Neil. It's great to have him here for a couple of days just to uh, so that we can hang out. He can pray and we can relax. And um, I may drag him to uh, Panama City. I have mass there Saturday evening and Sunday. He doesn't know that yet, but uh, I may go over there to uh, to be with the community there, which would be really neat. Um, great. So let me. Okay. So I, last time, uh, thank you for watching. Last week, I was in. Uh, I was on a retreat myself, kind of at uh, uh, in Colorado Springs at, at the Holy Cross Novitiate, and it was just a really good time, as I told you back then, told you a week ago. Very good, prayerful, relaxing time for me. And then on Saturday after this video, I got to celebrate the uh, first vows, the profession of first vows of five of our novices there, which was inspiring. Great, really good to be part of them. And then I was unfortunately, I was supposed to come back Saturday night, but um, I was one of those many people whose flights were canceled on Saturday. And so um, they said, well, we can get you back on Monday. Well, that means I missed a meeting in Orlando, but um, I said, well, if you're gonna fly me on Monday, let's make it Tuesday. So I stayed an extra two and a half days there. Um, I missed a meeting, but it's all good. So um, anyway, uh, People asked about two things. One, did the bear spray work? I never had to use the bear spray. 
thankfully. I, we never saw a bear again. I'd like to think that I really scared it so much when I screamed that it uh, now it won't come back. That's the hope. Um, but it was funny because when I yelled at, when I screamed actually, it uh, fell back into the little water, the little reflecting pool in front of the statue of St. Francis, fell down and then got up and phew, galloped away so quickly. So hopefully that'll do that. I like to think I exercised the bear. And then the bike, yeah, it didn't come back. Um, for those of you who may not have heard last week, I was all alone there and a man showed up and he said that one of the seminarians, one of the novices said he could borrow a bike for a day. It didn't sound right, but what do I know? He, he knew that the name and he seemed like a nice guy and he looked me in the eye and said he would bring it back the next day. So I almost helped him put it in the car, but he stole a very nice bike. It wasn't one of the seminarians. It was a, a relative of a seminarian. And so, um, uh, unfortunately, they'll be talking about me and how I helped some guy steal a bike. I almost said, here, let me go around and help you with it, put it in the car. So that's unfortunate. Um, but I'd like to think, I wasn't wearing the clerics, but I did say that I am Bishop Bill. So maybe that'll work on his conscience, you know, and he'll think, I just stole from a seminarian and a bishop. Hmm. At the very least, we can take heart knowing that that will be on his final video when he dies and goes before our Lord. So <laughs> I think I think what'll happen is God will just say, hey, here's you. Let's look at this again, stealing from the seminary, stealing a bike, oh, and, and lying to the bishop. And then letting the guy panic for a while, you know, and then all of a sudden Jesus will step in and he's like, but if I forgive you, you know, and then he'll get to go to heaven or purgatory perhaps. Anyway, uh, so the bike did not come back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so there you go. Um, and then, so today, the only other thing I'd like to do is just share with you uh, some prayers. Remember, I do that every, not share with you prayers, but pray with you and um, say, uh, announce some of the prayers that come, that came in with the uh, Catholic Sharing Appeal, our annual diocesan appeal. Uh, we received thousands of uh, prayers. People have written their prayers on these cards and then uh, we pray over them or with them at the pastoral center, they're right in front of the altar. And then um, every once in a while, I will just take a handful of them and pray over them and pray with them. And so um, I said I would, uh, you know, say these prayers out loud, uh, maybe uh, seven to 10 of them once a month on the first Thursday of the month. So I'll do that. But also ask your prayers. Of course, as we pray, we'll pray for your prayers and for um, for the prayers for the you know safety of everyone in the world and for for an end to the pandemic. It seemed that we were so close, but now, especially here in Florida, especially in the south of Florida, it's really raging. It seems. And um, just tonight, I, I went to the hospital to anoint someone who who was dying and did die right after I was there, right after I left. But unfortunately, uh, her relatives, uh, daughter and son-in-law, could not be in the room because they're infected. So they were watching from the window, and it's just really sad. I tried to, you know, be there and hold the, the person's hand for them, for her daughter, but they had to uh, participate via um, just through the window and, and a, uh, a face, a um, iPad that was there near the bed. So it's really sad. We're certainly not through this yet. Um, and uh, just pray, keep praying that that uh, that it will be eradicated and that people will be safe and uh, we'll all know what to do and come together to do what we have to do to uh, beat this thing. So there's that. Um, pray for that person who died. Uh, the good news is that person, I mean, died a few minutes after I was there and I got to pray the very powerful uh, prayers of the church. Certainly anointing, I anointed her and then I prayed the um, apostolic pardon May God forgive you of all your sins in this life and in the life to come. And then um, the commendation of the dying, go forth, Christian soul, into the arms of your loving Savior who has created you and who loves you. May he recognize you as one of his flock and welcome you into the garden of paradise this day. Uh, those were the last words she got to hear. So that's, that's awesome. We pray for a happy death and um, for a grace-filled death. And so for, certainly for her it was that... Um, okay, great. So here are the prayers. I invite you also to think of your prayers, to call them to mind. I know a lot of you are praying for family members and for friends, for your children and grandchildren, nieces and nephews, 
for your marriages, for the marriages of your children. And a big, a lot of people are asking me for um, prayers for their children or their grandchildren or nieces and nephews who have left the church or who no longer practice the faith or any faith. Um, I get that a lot. And so we pray for them, members of my family who are in the same situation. And um, let us unite our prayers as well to these prayers that have been sent in to the diocese. We pray for an end to the pandemic, a return to civility throughout the United States, and a return to a Judeo-Christian nation. Pray for my husband and my friend, for my stepdaughter who took her life in October, for the repose of the soul of this person and all who have died, and blessings on my family, on our priests, and those living the consecrated life. For my dad, that he will keep stay healthy, and my daughter, that she will be safe in her service with the Navy. Please pray for my children who are struggling financially due to the pandemic. That my children come closer to God. For my brother-in-law with Alzheimer's, good health and well-being for my family, for all children, and for all who suffer from an addiction, especially my brother. Please pray for my future baby granddaughter that she arrives healthy and safe this summer. Please also pray for me. I have more stress and anxiety that I feel I can handle. Thank you. And please pray for my family. So these are the prayers that, um, that we received. Um, and I join them to your prayers and my prayers as well. And the prayers of our Holy Father for this month. He's praying. He asked us to pray especially for the poor throughout the world. And not just to pray for them, but pray for us that we may be move to assist them and help them in any way that is possible. So we join all these prayers together and let us pray the prayer that Jesus, our Savior, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right, before the final blessing, I know this is kind of a brief one today. Oh, let, let me tell you this. Um, uh, I heard that um, Kaylee, who works in our uh, Office of Communications, was watching all these videos um, as part of her work today. I don't think she got through all of them. There's, oh, hmm, maybe a hundred, I don't know. I did it 40 days in a row, and then I've been doing it every week since last yeah, that's 50 more, so there's almost 100 of them. Anyway, and I believe she's going to uh, title them all, which is really helpful, and, and uh, put some keywords to some, so that if, if you want to search for teaching on uh, the Bible, or um, the Eucharist, or maybe a story that I told, or my beep beep stories, or something like that, I think hopefully that'll be, you'll be able to do that. I'm not sure how or where, maybe it's through, uh, through YouTube. Stay tuned, you'll get some more info on that later. But that's really neat. Um, I think, God bless her, if she had to watch all of those today, or most of them, uh, I'm sure it's it got a little old. But uh, God bless you all for uh, being part of this week after week. I think it's just a good way to stay connected, to pray for one another, and to uh, just uh, yeah feel that closeness that we have in the Holy Spirit. Even no matter where we are, far away, close, whatever, we're very close. God brings us very close, very near to Him through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and so, and there, I think that's it. So I will bring back another beep beep story, maybe beep beep and the bear, or uh, I can see something, I can see, I, I can see that in my future, beep beep and a bear or a wild animal or something like that. Beep beep visits a safari park or something. Think about it, that might be terrifying for a little car. It might be thrilling too. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Beep Beep does something soon. Okay, great. All right, I'll say a prayer for you all, and uh, I'll continue to pray for you. Please pray for me. Good and gracious God, watch over your children always. On this day in which we recall and remember and honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, we thank you for the gift of so beautiful, so wonderful, so holy and awesome a mother as Mary. 
May she watch over us. May we be more and more like her who said yes to God, not just once, but every moment of her life. May we be faithful as she was faithful so that we may be with her one day and her son, Jesus Christ, in heaven. Bless all your children. Bless all these intentions we prayed for tonight and all those we lift up to you in the silence of our hearts. Help us to know your will and give us the courage to carry it out. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night. Can you smell the pork chops? Neil, he's not really making pork Oh, I, no, he's reading. I thought you were making pork chops. Are right, you going to say goodbye to everybody? <coughs> My brother, Father Neil. I was watching something else. It's terrible. Uh, no, I wasn't. I was watching. I was very excited. I prayed. Oh. Did yeah. you, are you going to make the pork chops? Or? Oh, I, I don't think so. We're not so. going to have pork chops. We're going to have... Did you, do you want a priest blessing or a bishop? Oh, you're, they already got the bishop blessing. It's fine. Hey, how about this? People always say, God bless you to me, you know? And that's nice. I appreciate that. Could you bless me in their name? In their name? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This Big hands. Is... All right. Good and gracious God, we ask you bless our bishop. Help him to be a good shepherd for his people. Help him to always know the wisdom and the courage that comes from the Holy Spirit and leads to you, Lord. Bless him and watch over him always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. Look at that. Great. He's great. It's not the fullness of the priesthood, but it's close. I gotta go. So long. <laughs> God bless you.